All right. Hello, hello. God bless, God bless. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God bless. All right. We are going to go into Bible study. I got revelation. I got messages for you. Um, this is much earlier than I'm used to going online, right? I normally come online or I go online in the evening, right? In the evening is when I perform sermon. And yesterday I received Lord Jesus at like, I'm pretty sure I found him at like 1.30 in the morning. And you gotta understand sometimes like when you're seeking the Lord and you're seeking the Lord and you're, you're trying to find him. Right at the point where you're about to give up and get tired and you're like, all right, I don't have anything else to give. I, I can't stay up anymore. I, I can't, I've, I've been in the text the, the text isn't speaking to me. I need to find you, Jesus. Where are you? And then I find him. You got to understand that sometimes by that point that all the messages that I need to, to receive are, are coming through, I'm already at like my last drop, right? Like, like your battery, your battery's at just, that's it. That's what it's like. And sometimes I'm grateful that the messages are just prophetic words and I'm like oh it's this one it's this one it's this one the Holy Spirit's telling me I'm trying to save them all and I'll read them or I'll watch them first thing in the morning uh, and sometimes it's just straight scripture and yesterday was a combination of both so before we begin um, we're gonna jump into prayer but let's go with um, a different prayer Today. And this is this is from from the Catholic Church. Yeah, we can do Apostles' Creed, but um, prayer to our guardian angel. Okay, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side to light and guard, rule and guide. Prayer, prayer for priests. We'll do this one too. Dear Lord, we pray that the Blessed Mother wrap her mantle around your priest and through her intercession strengthen them for their ministry. We pray that Mary will guide your priest to follow her own words. Do whatever he tells you. John 2 5. May your priest have the heart of Saint Joseph, Mary's most chaste spouse. May the blessed mother's own pierced heart inspire them to be in, inspire them to embrace all who suffer at the foot of the cross. May your priest be holy, filled with your fire, filled with the fire of your love, seeking nothing but your greater glory and the salvation of souls. Amen. Pray for us. All right. That was beautiful. And part of that message, I started recording it and um, I was like, "You know what? I'll just I'll just come on live and deliver it. It's fine. Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. I need you to get your heart posture in correct order. I need you to get your heart, heart posture straight. That was the word. I need you to get your heart posture straight. I need you to be in alignment with God. Right? Jesus is coming soon. And... Part of this came from I'm I'm at a very beautiful place. It's it's 91 degrees outside. It's 11 11 right now. Amen. I just see nine one 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 one, <laughs> and I am white. All right. You have to understand that no matter how much sunscreen and sunblock I put on, it still burns. All right. I don't want to be out there. I don't want to be in here. Right, I check out of my place. I, I, I'm God. No, God. We, what are we gonna do today? Every day is different with God, and I got a revelation, and I wanted to go to a specific place, and I don't have enough money for the ticket, so I was like, all right, God, I guess we'll just go when I get paid. And then I got revelation. I'm your gift. That's what He said. The Lord said, I'm your gift. And I got this from yesterday's word too. Yesterday's word 
And the reason I say guardian angel, I wanted to read the guardian angel of prayer because we're going to go into Cain and Abel. All right, this is a Bible study. Amen. You know, let me put this down. We're going to go into Cain and Abel. And something that stood out in the text was the punishment of Cain for killing Abel was being cast out of the presence of God being cast out of the presence of God and the truth is is that this world gets old now the revelation I specifically got is you guys I've been here for like what two and a half three weeks now I'm already tired of it if that doesn't tell you enough I'm already tired of it same shit different day all right this is exactly why the spirit is so important glory to God amen this is exactly why the presence of God is so important. This is exactly why the presence of God is such a gift. Especially as we start innovating in technology, right? And the revelation I got was, you have to understand that, that back then we didn't have cars to get you from, from New England to Florida to California in three to four days. You got to understand that that voyage took, right? That, that was... That was a, a, a three, maybe a, a three week, right, expedition or who knows, right? And you have to understand that, that the world's about to get really, the world's about to get old very, very quick, especially in these coming years. Amen? Amen. Especially being able to travel, right? I can get from, right now, I guess I could get from here to, to Puerto Rico in less than an hour by plane, right? Um we can we can travel overseas by plane and get there in less than 24 hours and we're having more and more and more more and more and more time to travel the world and it gets old so fast it gets old so fast um not to say that i'm not grateful for for being here no don't don't get me wrong but the revelation i got was that's how Satan felt. You have to understand that these demons can travel like this, right? And for Satan to be casted out, and that's it. That's all you. That's the only realm you get is Earth, and they move. They move at a speed. They they teleport in ways that they they know this whole realm. They know Earth. It gets boring fast, and this is exactly why the spirit, being in the presence of God, never gets old. Not only that, you have to find him. You have to find him. And it's it's hard when you're you're in the physical and you're trying to find him in the spirit. How does that work? Your heart posture needs to be correct. You need to be in alignment with God, with his will. And the devil will do everything to get you out of that alignment with the oohs and ahs of the world. But when you look past it, and I was like, God, I'm not about to go cook in the sun. <laughs> I'm not about to. You guys, I, I'm not only that, I'm using a filter. Hold on, let me see. I'm using a filter right now, and I don't know if you can see, but I'm... Uh, I gained a little bit of a tan, but even then, I'm using a filter, and it's it's really... I mean, I'm darker. Yes, I, I'm, I'm darker in complexion. What, what I'm trying to say is, is that I'm not going to go out there to cook and burn, all right? As, as fun as that sounds, it's not fun till you get a sunburn. Like, no, nah, I'm just, no. So, God, what are we going to do? What, what are we going to do, God? I just, I take me back in your presence. I have hours to kill until the sun goes down. Now you're in alignment with God. Especially when, when it gets boring. I've already gone golfing. I've already tried the trail. I've already been to the, to the, some of the best beaches. Um... Are there some places I would love to go? Yes, I would love to go. Sometimes it gets me upset. I don't want to go alone. I don't I don't want to go alone, you know? But am I going alone? No, I'm going with... You got to understand I'm going with God. I'm going with my guardian angel. And be, being, being in the presence of God is going to be the most important thing from now on, wherever you go. This world is going to get old very, very fast. And the, the more money you get, the faster this world's going to become older and older. 
same shit, different day. Yep, it's gonna be exactly that. And this is exactly why you gotta elevate. This is exactly why why sometimes these demons don't want you to prosper, right? How is it that you're gonna you're gonna try a new experience? How is it that you're gonna try something? This is exactly why growth is so important. And if they're not growing with you and they're not supporting you to grow, you gotta cut them off. They're not gonna bear any fruit. They're not gonna bear any any richer fruit. They're not gonna bear any and not to say that that the fruit has to be something that's always of of I'm not saying that it has to be of the of the physical realm, but in the spirit, right? If you're how how do you bear rich fruit? Excuse me, fruit that is um trying new experiences right rich fruit never gets dull that's what i need to say rich fruit never gets dull right and when you when you get into that pattern same shit different day you start to become dull the presence of god is not dull the presence of god is majestic the, the presence of god is peace eloquence joy love understanding forgiveness compassion um it's amazing there's there's nothing else i could say about it and here here's the thing you don't it's not granted to everyone i've been redeemed of the world and this is exactly why the world gets old especially very fast and i don't even have money like that so imagine what it is to a soul that hasn't came to Jesus. And I'm trying to tell you that Jesus is coming soon. To a person that hasn't came, that has not come to Jesus and the world to them has already gotten old. Their 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 soul is bitter. I need to say that. So let's just let's jump into the text. But I definitely told God like God I, I want to go here, and then after that, like, I, I don't know, I, outside, like, I have to wait till, till something starts, and then it'll be a domino effect, but until then, God, we got, like, a month to kill before it even starts, like, I'm, I'm getting bored, well, you better find God, that's, that's your peace, that's your joy, that, that's your tra tranquility, and this is exactly why I gave you the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will be your, your comforter. You'll never be alone in the world. You'll always receive enlightenment. You'll always receive revelation. I'm telling you, this world is about to get old for a lot of people. And a lot of people, they're gonna, their soul is going to be vexed. It's not enough. We've already gone there. We do this every year. We, we, a lot of people are going to start coming to God. A lot of people are going to start coming to God because their soul needs that pouring in. They need living water. Amen. And you get that from what? From the throne of God. Alright? Glory to God. So with that being said, Cain and Abel. And I want to tell you that uh, today we're reading it out of the English Standard Version. I read it out of the NIV. I'm trying to think of what the NIV stands for. The New <laughs> NL New Living Translation. I don't NIV, whatever that one is. All right, I read it from my phone, and that's why Guardian Angel Prayer stood out. But the way that text said it was better. I don't like the way when I read it. It didn't. It didn't hit when I read the um, the King James version. So here it goes: Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Now Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time, Cain brought the Lord an offering. I'm sorry, it's really small. Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground, and Abel also brought the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel 
and his offering, but Cain and his offering had no regard. So Cain was very angry, and his face fell. The Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Why has your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? If you do not do well, sin is crouching at your door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. I'm going to stop there. Both brothers gave both brothers gave a portion to God. And I also want to let you know this is Adam and Eve bore Cain and Abel. And she said, I have born I have born Cain with the help of the Lord. That's how close we were once upon a time with God. We were able to, to God was always in our dwelling place. But man has strayed away from God through generations, all right? Cain and Abel as well are able to hear the Lord. He is always in our presence, all right? Um, and especially when I came into this and I received the Holy Spirit and I was like, I was never in church. So I thought everyone was talking to God. I thought we were all doing this. And then I come to find out, no, Juani, you're special. No, Juani, we can't all do this. No, Juani. <laughs> What, what did it say? What did the Spirit say? What did the Holy Spirit say? I didn't I didn't comprehend. I just thought we all were like, oh, you guys are all like me. No, I'm the leader of, of the herd. Amen. I, was, I wasn't expecting that. All right? Um, and that's when a lot of the jealousy came in. Now, this is, this is a word. God has always been in our presence. One brother took his first fruits of his crops and gave it to God. One brother took the finest of his sheep, the flock of his sheep, and gave it to God as a sacrifice. And I was like, God, why are you I why are you doing that to him? Why did you disregard his why did you disregard the brother that gave the sacrifice of the sheep by any chance I want to let you know that the testament of Solomon these demons these demons already knew they they say every time King Solomon said what angel thou frustrateth what frustrates you the one who bears the cross right the the spotted lamb the, the sacrifice for 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 humankind um, the, the holy redeemer amen by any the, the text doesn't say it but it was a very very real question for god and it was revelation god were you saying by any chance because we were close to god and the the demons knew right if if eve could talk to the demon which is satan and the demons knew the angels that frustrated it. And there was one that was going to bear the cross. One that was the spotless lamb. The lamb of God. And you give your sheep your lamb. Was it disrespectful? Is that why God is saying? Um, why are you angry? Why has your face fallen? If you do well, will you not be accepted? So you're saying he didn't do well. Because he was trying to, he, he was trying to stop... You know, like, was he possessed and he didn't know? These were very real questions I had for God. So he took the other offering. And that, that's how much God loves you. That he gave his only begotten son. There is no other spotless lamb. You cannot replace my Jesus. You cannot, glory to God, wow. You cannot replace my Jesus. You cannot replace the only son. He's the only son of God. I believe in God, creator of heaven and earth. And, and in his only son, the only spotless lamb. All right, that was the revelation I got. And I was like, wow. But so, something something else. That's why he said it's It's sin. God, he gave you an offering and it's sin. Well, it's sin when you know. It's only sin when you know that there's a, a holy redeemer. It's sin when you know that there's a spotless lamb in heaven. It's sin when, when you know that, that there's a, a sacrificial lamb and you're trying to give me five, a, a portion of your lambs for the one true lamb that is going to redeem you of your sin. Amen. Wow. Glory to God. That's intense. That's why he says... And if you 
do not do well. Sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is for you, but you must rule over it. Dang, God. So God was already looking out for us by saying, I can't accept that because I already have, I already have something in the works that you don't know about. Don't get mad about it. Don't get frustrated over it. But what happened? Because you don't understand God's ways. And we said that the spirit of jealousy, it's a spirit. It's called a demon. Its, it's name is jealousy. And it's, it's very present. And that's why I say that he's, he's possessed. Cain spoke to Abel, his brother. And when they were in the field, Cain rose up against his brother Abel and killed him. Jealousy kills. Envy kills. He said, The Lord said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? He said, I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? Now, the other version I read said, I do not know. Am I my brother's guardian? And that's when I, I started thinking, Wait, my guardian, my guardian angel, are you telling me that they were cast out of heaven and they were not given guardians. So then how did we come to receive guardian angels? I know I have two guardian angels. I do know that for sure because I've seen them. I thought everyone was born with a guardian angel. Cain and Abel weren't born with guardian angels. This is a revelation I'm getting. You have to be assigned a guardian angel. All right. And, and that's why that question is, is very real. I don't know. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my brother's guardian? Naturally, yes, you were supposed to be your brother's guardian. Yes, you were supposed to not let anything happen to your brother. Yes, you were supposed to take care of each other. But seeing as apparently that's not the case, and this is apparently human nature, now I have to assign guardians. Thank you. Glory to God. Revelation on top of that. Ooh. Holy Spirit, speak. And the Lord said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is crying to me from the ground. And now you are cursed from the ground, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Before I keep reading, I need to let you know that the earth the earth has pockets of water even though like you guys we put concrete there's dirt right there there's layers on the crust of the earth but i want i want to let you know that there's fresh water that comes up from from the roots of the earth okay and you just have to dig enough of a reservoir to get that water out don't ask me how I know this. I just know. I am not a survivalist expert. I just know. And you have to, that's, that's like, you have to understand that when God gave us heaven, heaven on earth, heaven, everything would just sprout. We didn't have to work for anything. The trees would, would bloom rich fruit every day. There was, there was nothing to, to toil. We just had to, to praise God and, and be thankful for his creation and just do what he said. This is exactly why I've been redeemed of the world. I've, I've made it to heaven on earth. Amen. In a different way. This is exactly why that spirit of jealousy. Because they've been casted to work. With that being said. Did the ground swallow up the blood of his brother? Yes. It received it. And I need to I need to say this. You've shed innocent blood. Even if you've pushed someone and they scrape their knee. I need to say that. Um blood sport. Um I've shed innocent I've shed innocent blood myself. This is I I I, I repent of my sin. And I want to tell you that I shed innocent blood from a, from, a, from a heart posture that was not in accordance with the will of Christ. 
I got backhanded for that. All right, but I repented to God and he, he saved me. And with that being said, is that that demon got closer. It's a demon. It's a demon. It's a demon. All right, that that's called demonic possession. <sighs> I'm going deep. Wow. But the ground swallowed it up and it speaks. The same way these plants have a vibration. Your blood has a vibration even after it's out of the body. All right, that I do know from looking at it under a microscope. Okay. And if you're transporting blood, I have to say this, it has to be kept under certain conditions, right? This is exactly why they keep it in ice or cold in a cold temperature. Um, it starts to coagulate, that's the word. It starts to coagulate um, when it's out of its, a, a certain condition. I don't, I need to share that. I don't know why. It's going to click for someone. Continuing. And now you are cursed from the ground which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Your hand. Repent. 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 Tell, tell God you're sorry. Tell God that, that your heart wasn't in the right place. That, that you, to, to receive you covered with the blood of Christ. That you receive his son. And, and to please take in exchange the, the blood of, of, of his son for your sin. And, and that you want to be straight with God, all right? That's just, the, that's how the covenant works, amen. When you work the ground, when you work the ground, when you work, when you work here on earth, it shall no longer yield to you its strength. When you work here on earth, don't ever think you're going to get in return what you thought. Don't ever think you're going to get in return because you're not straight with God. And what did I say? These demons, if you have nothing better to do, God's going to put you to work endlessly. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer of the earth. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer of the earth. Cain said to the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Behold, you have driven me today away from the ground, and from your face I shall be hidden. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. Then the Lord said to him, Not so. If anyone kills Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. Sevenfold. Now, The number that stuck out yesterday was 77777. So we're going to continue. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest any who found him should attack him. Then Cain went away from the presence of the Lord and settled in the land of Nod, east of Eden. Right? Heaven on earth, the Garden of Eden. Cain knew his wife. Uh, so, so Cain finally found a wife and she conceived and bore Enoch and we were in the book of Enoch when he built a city he called the name of the city after the name of his son Enoch that's not what the other text said the other text said that they named they found a city named Enoch and then they named their son after the, the city I guess when I read the King James Version again I, I will know to Enoch was born Irad, and Irad fathered Mahuel, and Mahuel fathered Methusel, and Methusel fathered Lamech, and Lamech took two wives. The name of one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zila. Ada bore Jabal, and he was father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock. His brother's name was Jubal, his father of all of those who played lyre and pipe. Zillah also bore to Baal Cain. He was a forger of all instruments, bronze and iron. The sister of two Baal Cain was Nema. Lamech said to his wife, to his wives, Ada and Zillah, hear my voice, you wives of Lamech. Mm -hmm. Listen to what I have to say. 
I have killed a man for wounding me, a young man for striking me. If Cain's revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech's is seventyfold. One of the texts, oh, seventy-sevenfold. Seven, 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 seven. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For she said, God has appointed me for another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. To Seth was also born a son, and he called his name Enosh. At that time period, began to call upon the name of the Lord. A very, very clear distinction I'm getting now. You see all the lineage of Cain. In that text of descendants, none of them had God. Not only that, they were still under the wrath of God. And we know that in the book of Enoch, that in the book of Enoch, these demons, these fallen angels, right, um, continued to teach them how to forge weapons. And to Balkane, he was the forger of all instruments, bronze and iron. And, and with that being said, look at their, their curse their curse still lives on. I have killed. Lamech said to his wives, Lamech, son of son of Cain, descendant of Cain. I have killed a man for wounding me and a young man for striking me. If Cain revenge is sevenfold, then Lamech is seventyfold. And then we go back all of a sudden to Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve are still in the graces of God. Look at that. They're still in the graces of God. God has appointed me for another offspring. She's still speaking to God. And here's the thing. If you don't... I need to say this. I know some people look at me crazy when I do shit like this. Thank you, Jesus! Thank you! <laughs> I raise my hands. Thank you, Lord! I know he's listening. I know I don't I don't need validation from the world but this other family will never be able to do that you'll never hear any of them saying God praise God praise Jesus thank you Lord the Lord said he was gonna he already withheld his face from them depart from my presence and this is what a royal priesthood is this is what it means to be part of the lineage of Adam and Eve who are your ancestors Adam and Eve because the Lord received me amen I need to say this too your family ain't your family I don't I don't give a fuck how big your family tree is I need to say that I don't care how big your family tree is but once someone has been departed from God they ain't part of your family and don't think I'm not trying to save my family. Like, bro, you need to come to this side. Bro, you need to you need to repent of your ways, but their heart posture won't let them. Their heart posture, they, they don't hear God. And this is exactly why I said in the beginning. It's just like when Jesus, when Jesus was at the temple. And some people heard thunder and some people heard God. And I can see those people who hear God. Oh, you get your messages? Yeah. You get your you get your prophetic word? Yeah. You get your yeah. Some you can hear God because we come from that same lineage. And now I understand. You guys you guys now have fallen to the lineage of the fallen angels. The other revelation I got is who is your daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna say it like that. Who is your daddy? Who is your father? My father who are in heaven. Oh, I gotta move the car because it is 91 out. Hold on. And remember that Jesus said, you are of your father, the devil. That's why you cannot hear God, because you only hear lies. And this is why the truth irritates their soul. This is exactly why the truth irritates their soul. 
This is exactly why when you call them out on their bullshit, that truth irritates them because they belong to the the devil. They their father's the devil. The Lord's gonna tell you the truth, and you're not gonna you're not gonna be offended. Offenses will come when you you know the truth. Oh well, that's true. So I'm not when I'm not offended. I'm not offended by the truth. I'm not offended that I can be a cold-hearted bitch when I need to be. I'm not offended that that the truth doesn't bother me. I'm not offended that you're a piece of shit and that you plotted on me. I'm not offended. I, as opposed to let's take this new school way of body positivity. You're fat, <laughs> right? You're offended with the truth you're obese now I want to tell you there's people that I have seen abuse that from me like when I'm 128 pounds and they're like you're still obese and I'm like dude my BMI is is like over it's only by 5% yeah but you're still obese whatever but we're talking about extreme like you, you know for sure because they're of the father their, their, their father is the devil. Wow. Revelation. Now, I said something about a curse. They're cursed. And I bookmarked this. And I didn't read it the other day. So, it says, Canaan cursed, Shem blessed. But let's, if that was Genesis, that was Genesis 4. Genesis 4. Let me get up higher. Because I'm petite. Here we go. Alright. And Cain went out from the presence of God. Oh, that's a gift. The, the gift, remember, the gift is to be in the presence of God. The, the, the gift is to hear the word of God. You gotta understand that other people cannot hear the word of God. Other people cannot receive the revelation. Other people can't be like, oh, that makes sense. Because they're just, I don't get it. I don't understand. Well, bitch, you won't get it. Because your father is the devil. Because you have not submitted to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Because you have not received him in your heart. And it's not, it's not your, it's, it's, I learned something. It's not up to you to, to figure that out. Only, that's, that's a battle for God. You have to understand that too. That's a battle for God. Amen. I thought I felt like the the weight of the world was on my shoulders and I was like no 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 God you did not give me this mission that's your battle that's someone that his burden his cast your burdens on him something about your yoke is is heavy his burden is light and that's how I was like God just like Jeremiah Lord, he said, Lord, you can't burden me with this. You can't burden me with this. And what was that? Where the Lord told him that you will not bear children. Because in the land where you are, King Nebuchadnezzar was going to slaughter and take over. And his wife and children would just end up being slaves. So the Lord was looking out for him. And he and Jeremiah, being a prophet as well said lord you you cannot burden me with this and i tell god god how dare you give me this assignment god how dare you i have to give this message god how do you burden me with this do you understand do you understand do you understand sometimes what i had to give up to be a prophet i don't i i don't get to really indulge in the places i go i don't get to act a fool and act reckless as much as I want to because I have to kill the flesh. Don't think I'm not willing though. <laughs> I'm bold. I'm bold for Christ. All right. And some people might say, "Aren't you scared to to, to speak out in that way?" No, I don't. I have no problem saying, "Jesus got you. Jesus loves you. God loves you." Hey, stop. Hey, what you're doing right now? I just want to let you know, God saw that intercession intercessor all right we're going to continue the descendants of adam with that revelation being said the importance of being a descendant of adam this is a book of the generations of adam in the day that god created man in the likeness of god made 
he him. Male and female created he them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day they were created. And you know Adam means man. Eve means woman. No, mother. Mother. Some, something. Bear with me, alright? Alright, basically, there's the whole lineage. Look into that. So that you know, that's for me specifically. I, I watch these videos after I click out of them, just to let you know. I watch them on YouTube. Amen. Um, watch it so you know who is an angel, who is a descendant of the Lord, who is part of the house of David. Glory to God. That was the next message. Son of son of David. Right? King Solomon was a son of David. We are part of a royal lineage. This is exactly why we can hear God. The flood. Alright. Eight. Nine says the covenant with Noah. Major types of royal covenants slash treaties in the ancient Near East. All right, I'm just going to read out loud. It says here, major covenants in the Old Testament. No, a Noahic, Abrahamic A, Abrahamic B. Sinaitic, Phine Phineas, Davidic, or Davidic, and then New, which is called Royal Grant. And that comes from the book of Jeremiah 31, 31. But we're specifically going to jump into where it says Canaan cursed. And then after that it says descendants of Noah's sons. Alright, let's go into it. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment, and laid it upon both of their shoulders, and went backward, and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward, and they now saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine, and knew what his younger son had done to him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan. A servant of servants shall, be, shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years, and all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. What? Why is he? Hold on. All right, so Noah went forth the ark. Were Shem, Ham, Japheth, and Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. Okay. Ham is the father of Canaan. All right. So his grandson. And Noah began to be a husbandman and he planted a vineyard. He drank of the wine and was drunken and he was uncovered. <gasps> oh my God. And Ham the, Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his brethren without told his told his two brethren without and Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father Canaan 
be cursed. Because of his father's sin. You know what I'm getting? I'm gonna. It's not. It's not. I'm reading it. It's not in here. This is just straight revelation from God, right? You have to understand that we were naked. We were in the. We were in the garden. We were in the earth. We 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 were. We were in the garden of Eden naked. It was not until we sinned that we realized that we were naked. And we gotta understand that we wiped out the whole earth. We wiped out the whole earth. So if Noah was naked, he drank wine and was drunken and he was uncovered within his tent. Okay. So he's naked in his own place. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him and he said, Cursed be Cain. Dang, he started it all over again. He got, he clothed them. Japheth and Shem. They clothed themselves. If you didn't say nothing, if you didn't say anything, none of this stuff would have happened. If you would have just kept your mouth shut. What possessed him? to go look at some he was within his tent he wasn't at his other tent they weren't sharing the tent they all had their own he was within his tent you'll be cursed if you look at someone who has not granted you permission to look at them and it started all over again for perpetual generations and everlasting. Wow. That's not in here. <laughs> That's a straight revelation. <sighs> the Lord instead of Shem is blessed. Praise because he is the source of Shem's blessing. He is also the God of Shem. His descendants and the Semites. Which include the Israelites in a special sense. Dwell in the tents of Shem. Share in the blessings of the bestowed of Shem. Mm. Wow, I need to read this. Noah's prophecy cannot be used to justify the enslavement of blacks. Because he said, cursed are the Canaanites. Since... Those cursed here were Canaanites who were Caucasian. So you're telling me that black slavery... I'm going to be very careful what I say right now. Black slavery was never meant to be a punishment. I'm not going to say it was never meant to be a punishment of the black community. Because they were... In the book of Enoch, they were worshiping a demon. It said, the, the, the ones of pigmented skin give me offerings. Oh, this is, this is trippy. This is really trippy. It feels like if the Canaanites were Caucasian and they were cursed, I'm Caucasian. Well, I'm European. My gene says I'm, is European Caucasian? 65, 65%. European 20% black I know right what, what a mix African African black sub-saharan African black who would have known that's why I have an afro and um, I'm only 10% Puerto Rican <laughs> I'm only 10% Boricua that's it 
And it makes sense why, why I'm so uniquely beautiful. Wow. I need to look into that. I don't, all I'm saying here is you got to know your father. You, you got to, your, your father, you got to know your descendants. And jealousy is a demon. Jealousy is a demon. It's a gift to be in the presence of God. Right? Don't think twice for a second. And if you're cursed, you're departed from the presence of God. So if you hear God, it's a gift. This shit is getting old. Same shit, different day. Right? I'm, I'm sorry to say it like that. All right. Same, same business, different day. Is that how you want me to say it? Same business, different day. And I'm supposed to just act like it's Barbie? No, this ain't Barbie. This is exactly why I need God. We need the presence of God. That's what that was the revelation. Jesus is coming soon. Get your heart posture straight. He is coming. He is coming. He is coming. He is coming. There's a lot of people who say, if Jesus is coming, why can't I hear God? How come certain people can hear God? More people are starting to hear the word of God. Oh, you hear his word. Oh, he's speaking to your soul. Oh, you received him. Amen. Why is that? Because he's coming soon. And he's trying to warn you. This world's about to get real old. And there's different forms of the rapture that are to come. I have been redeemed of the world. There's people who have not been redeemed of the world. There's people who are still slaves to this curse. Wow, that's a revelation. There are people who are still... Who are still bound to this curse. In Jesus' name, I'm here to, de to deliver you. I'm here to bring you closer to Jesus Christ. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to bear this. I don't understand why there, there was a feeling that was so heavy. There was a feeling that was so heavy on me last night. You can't burden me with this, Lord. Well, I did. But you don't have to. You just have to receive him in your heart. Walk in his ways. Receive the Ten Commandments. That's an exodus. I'm going to look into this. Thank you, Lord. That's all I have for you. That's a lot of revelation. And um, I guess when I receive more, um, I, I will deliver unto you. Until then, have a blessed day. Blessed Monday? Monday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? It's Tuesday, yeah. Blessed Tuesday. And um, God bless you. All right, bye-bye. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.